Now, an inquest into the death of a woman who died after eating a Pret sandwich is due to conclude today. Yes, Celia Marsh collapsed and died after having an allergic reaction to a vegan wrap from the chain five years ago. And Ellie Costello reminds us of the details of the case. Celia Marsh was a wife and a mother of five children. She also had a severe dairy allergy. In December 2017, she collapsed and died following an anaphylactic reaction after eating a super veg rainbow flatbread from pret manger It was supposed to be dairy-free, but it was later found to have traces of dairy in it. Mrs Marsh's death came after the 15-year-old Natasha Ednan Laparousse died in 2016 after eating a baguette from Pret. She had a sesame allergy. That tragedy sparked an overhaul of food labelling laws. Retailers must now display full ingredient and allergens on every food item made on their premises. Mrs Marsh's husband, Andy, said his wife had religiously avoided dairy after suffering a near-fatal incident a few months previously. The court had evidence that the trace of milk in the flatbread was very small and it would only have been expected to have an effect on around 5% of people with the most acute dairy allergy. Pret was charged with food safety failures in the wake of Mrs Marsh's death, but the prosecution was later dropped due to a lack of evidence. All Pret sandwiches are displayed with a warning explaining that they are made on site in a busy kitchen and that the company cannot guarantee that they are suitable for people with allergies. The inquest was told that food standards officers found no evidence that cross-contamination had occurred within Pret's kitchen and that all Pret sandwiches on display had the appropriate labels. The coroner will today conclude how Celia Marsh died. Ellie Costello, GB News. Well, let's head to Avon Coroner's Court. Ellie's there for us this morning. Um, so what are we expecting? What are the timings today, Ellie? Well, this is a really tragic story, Stephen and Isabel, and we're expecting a short hearing here at about 10 o'clock this morning where the coroner, Maria Boyson, will read out her conclusions. Uh, she did say at the start of this inquest that she's not looking to place any blame and she's not looking to replace any litigation. She simply wants to find out how Celia Marsh died. Now, Celia Marsh was 42 years old. She was a mother of five, so we are expecting some of her children to appear in court today to find out some more details about their mother's death. And during this inquest that's been going on since the start of the month, we have heard more details about that day. It was two days after Christmas in 2017 and Celia Marsh was shopping in the sales with her family when they went into pret a for lunch. And it's where she picked up that vegan flatbread. She did have a severe dairy allergy, uh, but she believed that it was dairy free. Uh, she then ate it, began to feel funny and she collapsed in the street where she later died in hospital. Now as part of this inquest and as in subsequent investigations it was found that that wrap contained a yogurt that was supposed to be dairy free but it did actually contain traces of milk and that yogurt was produced by a company called Planet Coconut which is a UK manufacturer and it was found that there was a star in that coconut yogurt uh, that was the possible source of contamination. It did have some trace of dairy in it. And there was a dramatic moment in the inquest when Bethany Eaton, who is the managing director of Planet Coconut, she actually broke down in tears when she was giving evidence in this inquest. And she said she was relying on verbal assurances that their product was dairy free. She said that at the time they did not test every batch of the final product to assure that it was dairy free free but since Mrs Marsh's death all of their products are now tested but in court she tearfully said that she really regrets uh, trusting somebody's word and buying the license for that starch product in the first place. Press and Monge, they were charged with food safety failures in the wake of Mrs Marsh's death but those charges were dropped 
uh, due to a lack of evidence. And we are expecting to hear from pret a a little bit later on after the coroner's conclusion. They have given me the statement in the meantime. They said our deepest sympathies remain with Mrs Marsh and her family over their terrible loss. And we're doing everything we can to support this inquest. And during the inquest, we did hear that food standard officers found that no cross-contamination had happened in Pret's kitchen. Uh, well, following Celia Marsh's death in 2017, pret stopped working with Planet Coconut, the company uh, that uh, provided that product. But this is a really tragic story that has affected a family, a husband, five children here in the local area. And it's hoped that the conclusions from the coroner will bring some answers to this family to try and ensure that this never, ever happens again. OK. Ellie, for now, thank you. God, just such a terrible case, that. Awful. Awful. Yeah.